Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about given the equations of two lines, determine whether their graphs are parallel or perpendicular, or it could be neither. Let's be honest. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. So one thing we want to note about here is what do we know about parallel lines, perpendicular lines, or if it's neither one of them? Parallel lines have the same slope, okay? So if it's parallel, slope one will equal slope two, okay? Over two lines. If they're perpendicular, the slopes when multiplied together, m1 times m2, is gonna be a negative one, okay? And then something you've also heard is maybe opposite reciprocal for the slopes. And if it's neither, it's neither one of those two. <laughs> Alright? So let's go try an example here. Uh, let's go to number 14. And we're going to be given two lines and we're going to see where they lie. Okay? What type of lines are they? So we're given 3y equals a negative 4x plus 3. And the other equation, 3x minus 4y equals 8. So we have two lines here. And we really want to see, well, what are they? Are they parallel or perpendicular? And we don't necessarily need to graph it to do that. So what I like to do is get y by itself. Let's get it in slope-intercept form, and we can easily find the slope. So I'm going to divide both sides by 3 here, okay, to all parts, right? So make sure it goes to both parts. We have y by itself here. Negative 4 divided by 3 is negative 4 thirds. x plus 3 divided by 3 is 1. So they tell us our slope here is negative 4 thirds, right? That is our slope, and that's really all we care about. Let's go deal with the other equation. We'll subtract the 3x to both sides, and we're left with a negative 4y equals, let's put the negative 3x first, plus 8. Divide both sides by negative 4, and we're left with y by itself here, and negative 3 divided by negative 4 is a positive 3 fourths, we have x here, plus 8 divided by a negative 4 is a minus 2, or plus or minus 2, or just minus 2. But it doesn't really matter. We care about the slope. Slope here is 3 fourths. So m2, let's call it, is 3 fourths. And let's call this one m1. All right? Well, right now, they're not the same. They almost look the same. We have negative 4 thirds and 3 fourths, but they're not equal to each other. So they're not parallel. So we can state that negative four-thirds is not equal to three-fourths. Good to know. What about perpendicular? Well, let's multiply them together and see what we get. Is it true that negative four-thirds times three-fourths equals one? That's our question mark. What do, I'm going to figure that out. Well, the fourths cancel here, leaving us with one. The threes cancel with one. So yeah, we have negative one here equals, oh, has to be negative one, equals a negative one. And we're good. So that tells us here, right, by our test here, that these two lines are perpendicular. Okay? So these two lines that they gave us are perpendicular, and if you graph them, they would be. And I'll toss the graph right here. So um, if you found this video helpful and you learned something, please subscribe to our channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you. And as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help, you use minute math. Minute math, minute math, when you need help, you use minute math. Minutemathtutor.com.